All right, continuing in sections 1.3 and 1.4. Question. Find a slope-intercept equation for a line with the given characteristics. Okay? First question we'll call part A, and then second problem we'll just call part B to keep them organized. Now, notice what they gave me in part A. They gave me the slope of the line, and they gave me the y-intercept. In fact, they really didn't need to tell me this was the y-intercept because if I see zero comma a number, if you pictured where that was on graph paper, zero comma five would be on the y-axis. So that, of course, is the y-intercept. Okay? Now, when you look down here and they tell you the line passes through the point negative five one, you know for a fact this is not the y-intercept. So the comparison in the two problems, up here they gave me B. Down here they did not. If this had been the ordered pair 0, 1, then we would have known B was 1. So here's what you need to pay attention to. The only time you are given B is when you're given an ordered pair that starts with 0. Okay? So let's start with A. It's a simple problem. M is negative 3 eighths. And another way to write this piece of information, 0, 5 really means B is 5. So they gave us M and they gave us B. So all we have to do is go over to Y equals MX plus B and fill in the data that we know. Negative 3 eighths for M and 5 for B. So the equation of my line, Y equals negative 3 eighths x plus 5. So that first one was pretty simple. There was really almost no work. All you really needed to know in this equation was that if somebody tells you you have the order, the, a line passes through the ordered pair 0 something, that this value is b. Okay? Now, in the next example, they gave us the slope is negative 2, and they told us the equation passed through the line negative 5, 1. But we don't know b. Now, there's two ways to do this problem. One way to do this problem is to use the point-slope formula and plug in. And that would work, but it's not my favorite method. So, I'm going to teach you the method I like. You can tell that we're missing b. Watch what I can do to find b. Write down my formula, y equals mx plus b. And what I start doing is plugging in the data that I know to help me find b. Slope is negative 2, so for m, I'm going to put in a negative 2. The x value of this point is negative 5, so for x, I'm going to plug in negative 5. I don't know b, so I'm just going to call it plus b. And the y value here is 1, so for y, I'm going to put in 1. So all I did is I took these three values and plugged them into the equation y equals mx plus b. I now have 1 equals 10 plus b. When I subtract 10 from both sides, I get b is negative 9. Right? 1 minus 10 is negative 9. Now I know b. So that wasn't really that hard, okay? Plug in what you know, solve for B. So, they had already told me M was negative 2. That was given. I just found out that B is negative 9. So with these two pieces of information, I can go right to my answer. Y equals negative 2X minus 9. And we're done. So in this first example, B was already given. That made life easy. Here, B was not given, but notice what I did. I just went into the formula Y equals MX plus B. I plug in what I knew. I plugged in the M. I plugged in the X, the known X value. I plugged in the known Y value. I left B as B, and I solved this equation. 1 equals 10 plus B. Subtract 10 from both sides to get B alone. B is negative 9. And then I went to my formula when I knew M and I knew B, and I wrote my general equation of that line, y equals in slope-intercept form, y equals negative 2x minus 9. 
and we're done.